Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. Hope you're having a great weekend. And as always, thank you for subscribing. Um, so I'm going to have a good old attempt uh, now at reacting to some Duran Duran. I know this song uh, very well. Um, I don't think there's any kind of point in me kind of really attempting to react to the video because it will just uh, get blocked. So instead, I'm going to react to a live uh, performance at uh, somewhere called the Palladium. I'm thinking that could be in the UK. And this was taken from the 31st of December 1982. Um, the record itself, um, Rio, was obviously off the uh, album Rio, um, also in 1982, and it entered the UK Top 40 um, about the 13th of November, and it kind of uh, peaked at about number number nine, which if you think about this record now, isn't that great, but so I'm kind of like really excited because I don't think I've ever seen them uh, actually perform this uh, track uh, live and um, come to think of it, I've never actually seen them perform uh, anything live. Um, so I have no idea how accomplished they actually were. I've seen quite a few studio performances, but um, I'm really kind of uh, curious to see how this one Kind of pans out and uh, touch wood um, it will not get blocked um, I hope so anyway so without further ado this is Duran Duran with Rio live at the Palladium I'm assuming that's London I'm just going to pause it there. I'll tell you what, I'm really kind of appreciating watching this. Um, not only do they look really cool, and I love his um, T-shirt that he's wearing, and a jacket too, to be honest. Um, but I'm kind of really appreciating the um, the bass on this, and um, you can kind of really kind of hear it in the background. Um, never, I've never really kind of picked that out before when I've been watching the video, because I think the video... Uh, and these videos, by the way, are great for... Um, Kind of younger reactors because uh, I think they can kind of really appreciate the um, the color and the the fashion and the look that kind of went goes with that year. And I think as uh, somebody who's older, I think it's um, we kind of tend to, to assume that we take that for granted now because we kind of lived through it. And in our mind's eye, we kind of walked around with people wearing these clothes, uh, maybe not as um, expensive as uh, Dura and Duran's clothes wearing suits on a yacht but um, and the other thing I'm really kind of like loving uh, and uh, I think it's like incredible is the uh, the, the drumming here um, and I'm trying to think of the drummer's name now because um, I know there's there's uh, Andy Andy Taylor uh, Roger Taylor um, oh man um Andy Taylor, Roger Taylor. I can't think. I'm sure there's some other Taylors. Um, 
in this. Um, anyway, the, the drums are fantastic. And uh, if anyone actually can remember the name of the drummer, uh, please let me know. Uh, but it's just incredible the, the actual speed he's drumming at. Um, I mean that that's got to take some that that's got to take some timing. I, I uh, I'm really really impressed by that, and um, and I'm kind of sort of seeing a lot more from just watching this live version than I would from get from the video really. <laughs> I love that. I love the saxophone on that. Um, I kind of you, I kind of forget that the saxophone um, in uh, features in the in in the actual song. And um, I, clearly, I don't think he's a member of Duran Duran. Um, but he's uh, it must take some. Um, I just can't. I mean, I tried to blow one of these once, and uh, like, uh, it, nothing kind of came out. Um, so just just the fact that anybody can actually make one of these things make a sound is just mind-blowing to me um yeah this is uh, i'm really really i'm so enjoying this vid uh, video of the um live concert um I, I love the kind of energy that they have on stage as well um they all seem to kind of be moving around and i think they're having a bit of fun with that uh, i'm not so sure that the kind of people sat at a table are enjoying it oh well <laughs> gotta say um it's just like a really really strange um I, I i love the stage thing i love the people dancing but there's some kind of really sort of interesting characters hanging about the stage and i've just got to um just fit that right right there in the gold lame dress i think and um i i i think she's kind of forgotten where she is um she's uh, she's enjoying a, a good old drink there and I can see it kind of wobbling a bit as well um, but it's nice that these things are in these videos just to kind of remind us of the great times that we kind of get drunk
Good evening. Um, that was uh, Dran Dran Rio, and do you know what? I kind of, I really, really, really enjoyed that. Um, I thought that was like a really kind of amazing live performance. Um, I'm not sure how kind of polished that was as a performance, but uh, everything kind of seemed to sound exactly the same as it did um, studio-wise. And, uh, yeah, I, I just kind of really enjoyed that. There's not a lot more I can kind of really sort of say about it. Uh, obviously, having the kind of uh, crowd there kind of adds to the interest a little bit to see how they're kind of reacting. Uh, I kind of think that maybe... Um, I'm just wondering whether there was other groups that kind of came, that appeared uh, at the podium, or whether this was... I kind of like, I find it strange that if this was just a Duran Duran concert, um, that there would be people kind of being whining and dining at tables. Uh, I kind of expected to there'd be like a solid, more kind of solid, um, hardcore Duran Duran fan base uh, there, but um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe maybe there were other kind of bands appearing on stage, a little bit like the kind of Montreux um, pop festival. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, this had everything that I kind of, I was sort of hoping to get from uh, a live Duran Duran performance. And um, I'm really kind of pleasantly surprised how polished uh, they were. Um, I recall seeing Duran Duran once before live, and that was at Live Aid uh, in 1985. And I think um, there were kind of some kind of sound problems. The sound wasn't great. Um, but this, I thought the sound was really, really good. And I was able to kind of really appreciate um, certain kind of instruments that I, I, I've never really kind of thought about on this track. Um, so um, the lyrics are really, really interesting as well. And um, the more I kind of listened to him, the more I kind of felt that we weren't, we were talking about uh, the persona of, of Rio being uh, a female. Um, her name is Rio. I think her, we were talking actually, to, I think we were, we're talking about a place and, and I might be kind of wrong, but I kind of got the impression that uh, uh, is Rio Grande in America? Um, so I'm kind of working on a premise that Rio Grande might be in America and and that may be that this song is, it, it could be that um, the whole song is about America. And so just a quick blast through the lyrics just to see what, um, to see what I can see. Um, <clears throat> Moving on the floor now, babe, you're a bird of paradise, cherry ice cream smile. Um, cherry ice cream smile, I suppose it's very nice. With a step to your left and a flick to your right, you catch the mirror way out west. Uh, I'm not sure if that's west. Um, uh, never eat shredded wheat. West. Um, so there could be um, could be California. Uh, you know you're something special and you look like you're the best. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sand, just like the river twisting through the dusty land. Um, river, so Rio, Rio Grande, yeah. And when she shines, she really shows you all she can. Oh, Rio, Rio, dance across Rio Grande. I've seen you on the beach. I've seen you on the TV. Two of a billion stars. It means so much to me, like a birthday or a pretty view. But then I'm sure that you know it's just for you. So, yeah, I mean, just on these lyrics alone, I'm kind of thinking that this is like a homage to... Um, or an allu alluding to uh, America and maybe the kind of west uh, coast of America, which I think I think that's California, um, New Mexico, sort of coming down, um, and maybe it's kind of uh, maybe maybe because I I I know that Duran Duran uh, really wanted to kind of crack America at the time. Um, that's something that I was kind of very aware of uh, there desire to make it kind of big in America and the UK as as a lot of a lot of bands um, have tried to do in the past um, some succeeded some kind of failed so some bands were incredibly popular in the UK but never quite cracked it in America the bands like Madness um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how, how popular Tears of Fears were in America immediately but uh, just going along those lines I think uh, Duran Duran um, maybe had 
um, quite some success in America, more than more than other bands, and um, and that perhaps this was it. This song was about their desire to uh, kind of make it big in America and their vision for um, how they saw America. Um, and if that's the case, then this is, is a wonderful song. And it could also be about somebody called Riyadh. So uh, I'm happy with both. Um, but I kind of, as I said before, I've really enjoyed his performance, uh, live performance. And uh, I might kind of look out for a few more live performances. Uh, I know how difficult it is to kind of react to the videos. Um, some people kind of get by um, through um, pause in the videos uh, automatically. And, and and some unfortunately they have to uh, they they kind of lose the the whole the sound uh, and the vision. So touch wood. Um, I'm hoping that this one kind of works out and doesn't get blocked. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I did this and not the video anyway. Um, so you guys, uh, let me know what you think about this video. Um, kind of if you can fill me in on the lineup. Um, I probably know all the names, but I can't remember. I get as far as John Taylor, Andy Taylor, um, Simon Le Bon, um, and I'm kind of struck Roger Taylor, um, Roger Taylor. Yeah, so I, I, I'm sure there's another person in the band, and I wasn't sure whether the sax, saxophonist was actually uh, a member of Duran Duran. Uh, so if somebody can let me know anyway, I'd be very happy. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. And hopefully I'll see you again soon on my next reaction.